welcome to Miss Mons TV. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and you can also watch our other videos. In today's video, I will show you Hooke's Law. Good day. In today's video, we will learn about Hooke's Law. This is the setup for our experiment. So, let's start the experiment. Before starting, we should make sure that our pointer is on zero. Now, I will put our weight holder. This one is already weighed with 10 grams. So, let's see. So, our first reading is 3.2 centimeters. Another 10 grams. Then, the second reading for the 20 grams is 6.6 .6, uh, centimeters. I will add another 10 grams, so this will be a total of 30 grams. This time, it stretches up to uh, 10 point. 10.1 and another 10 grams now it stretches up to 13.4 centimeters and our last weight which is 10 grams so this will be total of 50 grams It stretches up to 13.5 uh, For this 50 grams, we can see that it is 16.8 centimeters So this time, I will change our first spring to our second spring So now we can see we already changed our spring and we set 10 as our 0. So I will put now our weight holder, which already weighs 10 grams. So it reads 0 0.5 centimeters. Then I will add another 10 grams, so this will be a total of 20 grams. Now we can see it is 1.1 centimeters. For our 30 grams, so we can see is 1.6 centimeters for the 40 grams we have 2.1 centimeters and for the another 10 grams so total of 50 grams we have 2.6 centimeters now let's have the summary of our experiment for the mass we have 0 10 20 30 40 50 gram and we will get the force in newton to get the force in newton we will multiply the mass times the g or the acceleration due to gravity which is 0 0.00 981 newton per gram and later we will get the spring constant first we graph our data for spring number one and we will get the spring constant of spring number one the formula for the spring constant is 
delta L or the change in length divided by the force. So the spring constant for spring number 1 is 0 0.357 meter per newton. For spring number 2, we will also graph and we will get the spring constant. We will use the same formula. Spring constant is equal to the change in length divided by the force. So for spring number 2, the spring constant is 0 0.051 meters per newton. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned from the video today. If you like my video, please don't forget to like and share.